Altros. That's short for albatross, a large seabird that you wouldn't easily spot in India. But Tata wants to make up for it with a four-wheeled variety. And to kick things off, it's definitely easy on the eye. More importantly, it isn't hard on the wallet either. What's your take on the pricing? Get those fingers moving and let us know in the comment section below while we quickly run you through the basics of the Altros. Welcome back to Zig FF, all you need to know without the fluff. The Altros' low and wide stance means it looks the business. It's the widest in its class but has the smallest wheelbase. There's a likeable blend of sporty and premium going on and that's something you'd find on the inside too. That flat bottom steering says sporty but the ambient lighting and dash design says premium. We don't mind it because it's packing in all that we'd want from a car that costs as much. Climate control, a big touchscreen, a screen in the instrument cluster, it's all in place. You can even customize the lower variants with a few features from the ones above to feel uh, less base variant-y. And yes, Tata is flexing its safety muscles too, having scored a full 5 stars in the global NCAP crash tests. But say you drive without a death wish, you should do fine with the Altros' 1.2 litre petrol and have some fun with the 1.5 litre diesel. Sadly, there's no automatic on offer and that turbo petrol, yeah, we're hoping we don't get too old before that sees the light of day. If you want to know how the Altros drives, rides, seats and treats, hit the link in the i button for a detailed review. You'll see the Altros in the flesh at the 2020 Auto Expo and you'll see us there too. If you want to soak in all things auto from the comfort of your couch, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon too while you're at it. See you in the next one.